So I took over the dimensions of that I simulated with this link and I calculated what the loop completely length of one loop would be including this feeding point and I keep the wire double here and then I can cut some wire and I will remove the insulation because I simulated it without insulation and maybe it has a lot of impact, I don't know. Removing insulation isn't as easy as I thought. First I make a kind of start with a standing knife. Just cut it like this and then I have a hole in a piece of wood and I clamped it to the table and then I add the wire through it hold it with like this and then I cut and then I pull the wire through it You can peel it off like this, then you have a nice clean wire. With the marker I added some marks on the wire, on the correct uh, dimensions, and then I can fold it. So I bend at it, you see the markers still here. And I had the idea to make this this way. However, when I solder this and I solder the coax to it, likely it says point. So maybe I will turn this around the other wire. This is the result. And I will hang it now on the ceiling to do some tests. Here I have some wires. It makes it possible to hang the bow tie antenna and the choke to the ceiling. Here is the directional coupler going to the NWT6000 and connect it to the laptop and what you see here on the screen is uh, the frequency response and it's uh, here is minus 20 uh, dB it is 202 megahertz to 211 megahertz when I made aluminium foil around it, so I have now closed triangles, the difference with the return loss can be seen on this screen. The frequency shifted a bit down, it is that red moving line, and it is also a bit wider. And here are the signals that I receive with the NWT6000 with the bow tie antenna still packed in aluminium foil. And this is the same reception with the aluminium foil removed. So just the bow tie antenna. The moving line is uh, the actual measurement and in fact you see that it is still behind the one with 
the aluminium foil but not very much so the aluminium foil is in principle acting a bit better and I now replaced the bow tie antenna for the single dipole and as you can see it is uh, the actual color is always the red one and as you can see it is a bit weaker than the bow tie and a bit big weaker than the bow tie in aluminium foil so you see at least several dB's less signal so at least the bow tie is better performing than the dipole antenna and here we are back on the reflection coefficient of the bow tie without aluminium foil the yellow line is with the aluminium foil so it's wider and this is the dipole so the actual measurement is the dipole so as you can see is the one with the aluminium foil the widest at least at min, min 20 dB ok that's it if you like it please subscribe and maybe you find more interesting things for your antenna experience